wonderful and fireproof and all your other movies. So Thank you. what brings you out here this year? Oh, well, really, I'm just, I'm here to support Movie Guide. You know, I, I believe in what this organization does. And um, I've, I've ventured a little bit into producing uh, recently. My production company is, is going into production on our first feature this okay. year. And uh, we have found Movie Guide to just be such a wonderful partner for us in helping us raise the funds and get the support for the film because of their information on yeah. what makes a successful film financially and that yeah. uh, films with clean content or with an uplifting or redemptive message are are more successful Absolutely. and so that's you know our film is along those same lines it's a really beautiful love story and it's uh, it's got no really objectionable content a nice uplifting message so um, we've been really grateful to Movie Guide for for existing yes. and for their support in that. So, now where do you hope you know the uplifting genre to go in the future? Sure, you know, I just hope it keeps climbing. Um, I mean, I you know, I'm so excited for where faith-based film is going. I'm excited that the the budgets are getting larger and the movies are getting better and the the acting and the production quality is getting better because I mean, we do we do have to compete with what Hollywood is putting out. And if we can't compete in quality, then we're not competing. And um, and I do believe that because we're doing things for this higher purpose of actually reaching people with this this beautiful message, um, that we have a responsibility to do it well and to do it right. So I, I think it's exciting that that's happening in Christian film and and that things are are moving up and up all the and time. You know, when Son of God is coming out next week, we've also seen yeah. the Bible series. Is there any other books from the gospel that you hope that to make it to the big screen someday? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I will tell you that I cried in the Son of God trailer in the theater. It just made, it was so beautiful. It made yeah. me cry. It was amazing. So I don't know a book. Of, there are some that probably would be rated R if yeah. they were adapted into a film, like Revelation, maybe. Right, exactly. Even though Revelation. we're kind of almost no. even like some of the Old Testament, you know, a lot of violence and yeah. murdering, and yeah. yeah. So we hope that some people get in. Some people don't. I mean, my yeah. favorites like Ruth and Job right, and Revelation, yeah. but um, yeah. So Absolutely. now I have to I have to compliment your dress. Your dress oh. is so stunning, and this color looks so good on you. Where'd you get this? You. This is it's a Monique Lulier, okay. um, and she's she's a lovely designer. So I'm I'm excited to be wearing her, and it's very comfortable, it's very which is the biggest thing. Oh my gosh, Aaron. <laughs> and Aaron, do you have any other projects coming out this year? I do. I have uh, the Redemption of Henry Myers. It's a Western period piece Western okay. that we shot in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and uh, it's finally coming out. It's coming out on Hallmark. Uh, in March, and, and I actually co-star with this guy right here oh, in that hey. film. So uh, okay. I'm sure you'll talk to yeah, him. Yeah, we'll to, talk to him Drew in a Waters. second. <laughs> yeah. So he's my co-star in the film, and, and we had a great time. So we're we're so excited about that movie and, and ready for it to come out and for people to see it. It's a great film, beautiful period piece. Erin, yeah. I wish you the best tonight, and I wish you the best success for your career. I'm so glad you're venturing outside of acting as well, because I think you're just so multi-talented. And I'm glad that you're so blessed and you're you know representing us. So thank you so much, Erin, for coming tonight. We wish you the best tonight. Thank you.